Hey, hey, YouTube, welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. I'm Arabin, and hey, I'm glad you're here. Today's video is going to be about Walmart's stab at Mora. Pun intended. Happy Cobb Tuesday, smoking my Missouri Meerschaum Country Gentleman. And inside, I have some Merchant's Choice from my local tobacco merchant. It's a good blend, very aromatic. People around me love it. I always get compliments on it when I smoke this out in public. It is my choice for public smoking because I always get such good compliments on it. Anyway, I was in Walmart this past week and I uh, saw something that caught my eye. And it was this knife right here. Does it look like something you might be familiar with? Looks kind of like this. Yeah, this is Walmart's take on Mora. We're going to take a little bit closer look at it and put it to a little bit of a test, see how it does on different things. But hey, I saw this and I was thinking to myself, there's no way Walmart is selling more knives. I picked it up and I looked closer. A lot of similarities. Let's go outside in a better light and take a better look at it. Alright, so yeah, the lighting is a little bit better here than it is in the fox cave. So, uh, take a closer look at the knife and the sheath. Of course, the sheath is very similar to a Mora made out of the same product, I'm sure. It does have the clip loop so you can put it onto a belt, similar to the Mora. The Mora is a little bit heavier, I think. The handle is similar to the Mora. The blade does not have the same grind as the Mora. Comparing the blade size, the Walmart is a little bit, the blade is a little bit longer. This is the Walmart, this is the Mora. This is a Mora Carbon. Now I don't know what kind of steel this is because you see there's not one marking at all. There's no markings on the handle. There's no markings on the sheath. I have no clue who made this knife. I have no clue what type of metal it is. Is it stainless? I don't know. 440 probably, I'm imagining. It's got the rubber, soft rubber grip handle. Uh, it's a little narrower than the Mora. See the Mora here? And Walmart version here. So it is a little narrower. The blade thickness is about the same, about two millimeters. It appears to be very sharp. Uh, didn't do anything to it. This is the way I bought it. But let's see what would happen if we want to take a piece of wood and put a notch in it. Let's see what would happen. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna do a straight cut, and uh, then we're gonna do a little notch. And uh, if you want to put a notch in for like a, I don't know, for a tent stake usually is what I do if I forget to bring my tent stakes, which I have done before. You just do a, uh, a straight cut and then grind away on the side at an angle until you get the little notch where you can tie your guideline or whatever it is that you want to tie. So there we go, we got a little notch there. And uh, let's see if you wanna put a point on something. You know it's not overly sharp. So uh, one thing I'm gonna have to do is sharpen it. <sighs> Man, it is like yesterday it was 76 degrees here in South Carolina. So yeah, it's just a matter of time I guess till spring gets here but that being said I'm really more of a winter person 
for what we call winter here. I would love to see some snow. It's been years since we've had snow here. But, uh, well, this knife is not doing that bad, I guess. You can get a pretty sharp point there. So, uh, yeah, you can notch with it. You can make a point with it. I guess you could carve with it if you wanted to do some carving. Uh, I wouldn't baton. But I'm not an advocate of batoning anyway. That's why you have a tomahawk. Let's see how this does with uh, fire and uh, ferro rod now. See if it'll strike a ferro rod. Alright, so it's very windy out here today so I'm not going to start a fire but I am going to just light. I've got a little piece of jute twine here that I have just fluffed out. I've got my Uberlieben Uber fire starter uh, ferro rod and uh, we're going to see if this Walmart version of Mora will catch some sparks here. Oh wow. Yeah. Not bad. Look at that. Yeah, that throws some good sparks. So, uh, that, uh, that's good. All right, so I broke out my uh, trusty ruler here. I'm going to give you guys some stats on the knife. The overall length of the knife is eight and one quarter inches. The blade is three and three quarter inches. The handle is one half inch wide and the blade is two millimeters thick. So uh, there's your specifics on it. I don't know again what type of steel it is but it does strike a ferro rod. That's good. It did notch and it did carve. It's comfortable in the hand. You know, is it going to hold up as well as the Mora? It just doesn't feel like it. If for some reason it's got a very light, it's light compared to the Mora. And Moras are not heavy by any means. But anyway, just wanted to do this little review on this knife. Uh, one thing I like too, I like the Mora at the very end, it does have a hole for drainage. So, you guys can take away from it what you will if you want to pick one up. The great thing about this knife and probably the best thing about it is the cost. I paid $2.87 for this knife at Walmart. Yeah, it, it's a good toss around beat up knife. That's what I'm going to do. I'll do a follow up review on it later. But yeah, the Walmart stab at the Mora. Again, pun intended. Hey, that's what I got for you guys today. I appreciate you coming along in Urban Outdoors. I appreciate all of you who have subscribed to my channel. If you haven't done so, what are you waiting for? Go ahead, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, share, all that stuff. Till next time, keep calm, carry on, and keep it outdoors.